the silent town. In the remote town of Eldridge, strange things had been happening for decades. The townspeople spoke in hushed tones about the old abandoned hospital on the outskirts, where patients were said to have disappeared without a trace. The hospital had been closed for years, but the rumors persisted. They said the spirits of the lost patients still wandered the halls, seeking vengeance. One night, a group of friends decided to explore the hospital. Mark, Sarah, Tom, and Lisa were thrill-seekers, always looking for their next adrenaline rush. They laughed off the warnings from the locals, dismissing them as superstitions. Armed with flashlights and cameras, they ventured into the hospital, just as the sun dipped below the horizon. The air inside was thick with the scent of decay, and the walls were covered in peeling paint and dark stains. Their footsteps echoed eerily through the empty core. As they explored deeper, they stumbled upon old medical records and rusty equipment, remnants of the hospital's dark past. They joked and made light of the spooky atmosphere, but an uneasy feeling began to creep over them. In one of the rooms, they found an old broken wheelchair. Lisa sat in it, pretending to be a ghost, but the moment she did, the air grew colder. Her laughter turned into a scream as the wheelchair moved on its own, dragging her into the darkness. The others chased after her, their flashed. They found Lisa in a small, dimly lit room, her eyes wide with terror. She muttered about hearing whispers and feeling cold hands gripping her. The friends decided it was time to leave, but the hospital seemed to have other plans. The corridors twisted and turned, leading them in circles. The walls seemed to close in on them, and the whispers Lisa mentioned grew louder, more insistent. Shadows danced at the edge of their vision, and every door they tried was locked. Panic set in as they realized they were trapped. Mark tried to break a window, but it was as if the hospital itself was alive, refusing to let them go. Tom and Sarah held each other, trying to stay calm, but the whispers became screams, filling their minds with terror. In a final desperate attempt, they ran through the corridors, searching for an exit. They burst into the main lobby, only to find it transformed into a macabre scene. The walls dripped with blood, and the faces of the lost patients stared at Foyne. A cold, ghostly figure appeared before them, its face twisted in pain. You should have listened, it whispered. Now you will join us. The friends screamed as the spirits closed in, their icy hands reaching out. The hospital's doors slammed shut, trapping them forever in its haunted embrace. The next morning, the townspeople found the hospital eerily silent. The friends were never seen again, and the whispers of the lost patients grew louder, warning others to stay away. Follow me for more horror store.